my name is Jack and welcome to episode 4 of TechEd. In today's episode we are going to be making an automatic smelting processor which will mean we'll need to make a bunch of machines and that will mean we'll need a bunch of resources. So it's time for a mining montage. And we are back. So, I have put everything that I own into this nice golden chest. So you can see we've got tons of ore. I've already smelted a few things already. And we've got our tools as well, so we may as well take them. Alright, and now we are going to start making all the things we need for our smelting system. So the first thing we need is a pulverizer. Now, this is made using a piston, a machine frame, two flints, two copper and a redstone reception coil. So the first one we'll go for is the the coil. So we need gold and redstone. So um, we'll take this and we'll take this and then I think we'll make a few of them because I think you need it for more than one recipe, don't you? Um, so we'll go for three. We don't want to use up all of our gold because we don't really have that much of it. There we go, and we also need a machine frame, so we'll check out how that's made. Um, gold again, glass and iron. So glass, uh, iron, and we've got the gold, okay. Alright, so gold in the middle, um, iron here I think, and then is it the glass on the outside? Uh, nope, I've got them the wrong way around. That's better. There we go. Two machine frames. Now, what else do we need? Two flint and a piston. Okay, so now we'll put everything together if I can remember how to make it. I think it's like this, and then the machine frame goes in the middle, piston on the top, and then is it just flint on either side? Uh, yep, there we go. We've got ourselves a pulverizer. Alright, next we need a powered furnace, so let's see if we can find out how to make that. There we are, uh, press R. So we need bricks for this actually, and then the rest is pretty similar to the other one. Right, so we'll get these turned into uh, placeable bricks, just like that. There we go, and now I'm pretty sure that it is this in the center. Uh, copper on either side, machine frame in the middle again these over here and now we need an is it another piston uh, no let's check oh it's redstone on the top oh god damn it so now I have to do it all again there we go powered furnace all right now we need to make a wrench so uh, how do we make a wrench oh it's iron and a stone gear stone gears are oh, I know how to make these so first we need to get uh, some sticks like this and that, then if we put them like this, we'll get a stone gear from it. And then I think we can upgrade the stone gear. No, it's a wooden gear, sorry. I think we can upgrade the wooden gear into a stone gear, just like that. And now we're a little bit low on iron, so we're going to have to smelt a little bit more. Right, I think we only need four, so how was it done? Was it like this? And then the stone gear in the middle? Uh, yes, it was. All right, wrench down. Next thing we need are uh, three steam engines. Um, so how are these made? Uh, copper, a copper gear, and another redstone coil and a piston. So the copper gear is made uh, using iron and copper. Right, so it's three copper along the top, the reception coil there, or was it there, and then these here, and then we need a piston right there. Nope, that's not how you do it.
Oh, I see. I've got a uh, reception coil where I need a transmission coil. So, we need a silver ingot for that. Alright, we only need one. So, there we go. And now it's just placed. How, how do you do it? Was it like this? Uh, no. Oh, it's, I think it's with redstone, isn't it? Yes. Alright, so redstone there. Uh, transmission coil there. The gears. Piston there. And copper along the top. No? Why is that not working? Oh, I had the piston in the wrong place. There we go, we've got one steam engine, but we need three, so we'll have to cook up some more stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Three steam engines. So now we need a golden conductive pipe, and that's just made with uh, two gold and a piece of glass, and then we just add redstone to it. There we go. We may as well get a few of them, seeing as we've got plenty of redstone. We also need a wooden conductive pipe, which is made the exact same way, but with wood. Uh, so we'll put that there, and get it redstone on the job, there we go. And finally, we need a hopper, so how are they made? Alright, it's just iron and a chest. Now I'm pretty sure we've got a chest in here somewhere, yet yeah, we've got two. So, let's just shove that there, surround it with the iron, and... Wait, get out, oh, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that's everything that we need. So the first thing we need to do is place down our three steam engines, and then we need the wooden conductive pipes, and we will just place these on the top of them. So I think you need to shift and then place, yep, and uh, like that. Now I'm pretty sure you use the wrench to turn that the right way around. There we go, awesome. And then after that we need to place the golden conductive pipes on top of them, and these will connect to the machines. So now we're going to put the pulverizer right here, and the powered furnace next to it. And then I'm pretty sure that I can just put the hopper on top of it. There we go. So this is what our setup will look like. Now we need to power these steam engines. So this video hasn't quite gone how I planned it to. Um, I'm actually a bit stuck because I've got this set up and the pulverizer works and everything. Uh, if you put the iron in here, um, then it will actually go straight into the pulverizer. That works fine, but I cannot power the machines. Uh, I'm not sure what's wrong. I've, I've got these flicked and I've got coal in the steam engines, which I thought would work, but for some reason it doesn't. And I'm putting water into here as well but that doesn't seem to be doing anything. So if you guys know how to fix this steam engine uh, mishap, then please do let me know, because I am stuck, and if and uh, without that, we will not be able to double our ore. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know what the pulverizer does, basically you put iron in here, it turns it into dust, and then that dust can then be turned into two separate ingots. And it doesn't just work with iron, it works with like all ore. So that's, uh, that's oh, just a way of doubling your all. So yeah, sorry guys, I'm going to have to end this off a bit early because I'm stuck. So if you guys know what to do, then please do let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. This has been Tegger. My name's Jack. I'll see you next time.